Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to whip up the smallest size of my dandy dog sweater pattern. The smallest size is for tiny little guys, about five pounds is my little Yorkie guy. And I'm using a worsted weight yarn, which is a good middle weight yarn. If you do not have Brava on hand, any worsted weight will suffice. I also have a H five millimeter crochet hook that I will be using today. Definitely check your gauge before getting started on this pattern. I know that they are only dogs. Well, only, you say that, right? Um, but make sure that your sweater is going to fit by selecting the right, uh, getting your gauge right, and then selecting the right size per the sizing chart in the pattern. So I've gone ahead and our first row here is to do a foundation half double crochet. Since I'm doing the smallest size, I need 33 stitches. If you are unfamiliar with the foundation half double crochet, Crochet, that's okay. You can chain and half double crochet your way back through. There are instructions for that as well, or you can learn how to do the foundation half double. It's useful in all sorts of things. So here I have my 33 stitches. For This is for the extra small. For the small you need 43, and for the medium you need 53. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to join these two. So see how we have this circle here? We're going to join to the top of this stitch with a slip stitch. And now we will be ready to start our first row of ribbing. So for chain, for row two, we are going to chain one. We are not going to turn our work this row. This is the only row of the collar that we do not turn, but it looks nicer. So we're going to do a front post half double crochet around the first stitch. So front post half double crochet. And around the next, we're gonna do a back post, half double crochet. And we are going to rotate these two stitches all the way to the, till we get back around to where we started. Back. And front. And back. And front all the way around. I am almost all the way back around to the beginning and we started this row with a front post half double crochet and we're going to end it with a front post half double crochet as well. It's going to go right around this post here. Half double and now we are ready to join to the top of the first front post right here. So we're gonna to join to the top of this stitch with a slip stitch. And now we are ready to start row three. So here we have a nice little ribbing that we're building onto. For row three, we are going to chain one and turn so that we're looking at the inside of the collar. Now, since we turned it, this front post that we made now it looks like a back post since we turned the work. So now we're going to do a back post around that one so that our ribbing lines up nicely. So I'm gonna back post around that one and front post half double crochet around this one. And I'm going to do this all the way around the row just like I did with the last row. Now the collar rows, there's either six, eight, or 10 rows depending on what size you're making. And since I'm making the smallest one, there will only be six of these rows. So I am going to continue until I have a total of six rows for my collar. All I'm doing is this with the joining and the turning and the joining and the turning. The most important thing to note is that on row two, we do not turn, or yeah, we do not turn. And on rows three, four, five, six, seven, eight, however many you have to do, you are turning. So once you establish the post stitch row, start turning as you work. So I'm going to complete my collar up to row six and I will hook up with you to start the body. Okay, here I have my cute little collar for the smallest size, cute little thing with tiny little neck. So we are ready to start the body. With round seven, nine, or 11, depending on what size you're making, you are going to chain one and do not turn for this row. We're going to do a single and double crochet in this first stitch right here. We're gonna do a single and a double. We're gonna skip the next stitch 
and in the next we're going to do a single and a double. Skip the next, single and double in the next, and we're going to do this all the way around until we get to the beginning. Okay, now when we get to the end, we have these two stitches left over. We are going to skip this one here and we're going to put a single crochet, double crochet, and a single crochet right in this last stitch. So in the one right before your join, we're going to do a single, double, and another single. Now we're going to join to the top of this first stitch. So the first stitch of the row was a single crochet. So this one right here. You don't want to join to the chain. We're going into that first single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch that shut. So now we are done with that row. Now to do the next row, it's either 8, 10, or 12. We are going to, same thing we just did, except we are chaining one and turning. So now we are going to do the exact same thing that we just did, placing um, single and double, skip, single and double, skip, single and double, skip, all the way around. When we get to these last two here, we're going to skip this one, and we're going to do a single, double, and single right in this last stitch. So now we here are all the way back around. This one we're skipping, and this is the one that we're going to place those three stitches in. So single, double, and single again. And what we're doing here, we're going to join to the top of this first single crochet. What we're doing here is we are putting a lot of extra stitches right at the join so that this part is going to grow bigger. This is going to be the part that sits right on their chest bone, right? So you're going to slip it over their head. The back is not growing and the bottom is, and that'll become more apparent as you continue to work your, your rows. So for the size that I am making the extra small, I'm going to do this exact row that we just did twice. I'm going to do that through row seven or 13. So if you are doing the small, go through row 17. If you're doing the medium, go through row 25. And our stitch counts at the end of this, since we are adding two stitches every time we do a row, the stitch count at the end of those rows, when I get to row 13, for the extra small, I should have 47 stitches, the small should have 61 stitches, and the medium should have 83 stitches. So I am going to continue this exact row that we just did twice until I get to the end of row 13, and then we will be ready for the armholes. This is the end of my row 13. And as you can see, all of those extra stitches that we put at the beginning is causing it to have this effect. So this will be where their head is, this is the back, and then this is the belly where it gets much steeper, much quicker. So we are almost to the armhole rows. We have one more row before we can start those armholes. And the reason that I did that is because I wanted it to have an even number before we started. So for row 14, 18, or 26, depending on what size you are making, we are going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did for these previous rows, except when I get around here, I'm not going to place that extra single crochet. So I'm only increasing by one stitch instead of two. So I'm going to do single, double in this very first stitch, and continue around until I finish this row. I am almost back around. I'm skipping this one and then this one that looks like a tiny little guy. This is where I'm putting my last single crochet and double crochet, but I am not doing the extra single crochet at the end. So now I'm just going to join to the top of the first single crochet and we are ready to start our armhole row. We're going to take this row very slowly because I want to make sure that everyone is placing their stitches in the correct places. So to start your armhole row, we are going to chain one and turn so that we are looking at the outside. 
Now, the last stitch that we made of the previous row before we turned is this double crochet right here. So we're gonna skip that right there and we're gonna put a single crochet and a double crochet in the next, which should be a small little single crochet, right? So I'm gonna place a single crochet and a double crochet. Now you're gonna repeat that so many times. For this size, I'm not gonna repeat it at all. So I've got two stitches so far, one, two. Now I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to single crochet in the next single crochet. One single crochet, that's it. So for the extra small size right now, I have three stitches on this row so far. Now I'm going to chain seven and that is going to be the armhole, um, bottom half of the armhole. So chain seven, Obviously, if you're making a different size, it's a different length of chain. Now I'm going to skip nine stitches, which is different for the other sizes as well. So I'm going to skip nine and I'm going to place a um, single crochet and a double crochet in the next. So first skip nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now I'm going in this next stitch here, I'm going to place a single crochet and a double crochet. Make that a little bit tighter because it is the corner of the armhole. I don't want it to stretch out too much. Okay, so we've got our single crochet and our double crochet in the next. Now we're going to do our skip the next, single crochet, double crochet, skip the next, single crochet, double crochet. We're gonna do that so many times. For this size, I'm going to repeat that 10 more times. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. So now I'm going to skip this one. It's time for the other chain for the other arm. So I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to place a single crochet in the next. And then I'm going to do a chain seven. Again, make sure again that that stitch is a little bit tighter. Chain seven. however many you need for your size, skip nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and single crochet in the next, double crochet in the same, and then we're going to place a single and a double in the next. And then we're going to join to the top of that first single crochet. So I am going to, I, I highly recommend after this uh, row here, I highly recommend you go back and count your stitches. It should be, um, you should have your armholes here. It should be a little bit funky looking, but that's okay because body dog bodies are funkily shaped. So it's okay if it looks a little funky. See how we've got this uh, chest bottom here and we're ready to just stick those little legs right in their leg holes. So looking awesome. I definitely, definitely recommend counting your stitches at the end of the armhole row. So I'm going to do that now. 44. Perfect. So I have 44 stitches, which is exactly what I should have making me feel all nice and warm and fuzzy inside. And now we are ready to continue with the body of the sweater. So I am going to chain one and turn. I'm going to skip the first stitch, which is that double crochet, and I'm going to single crochet and double crochet in the next. So in this little guy right here, single and double. 
Now I'm going to continue this all the way around, including around or over through the armhole chain. So I'm going to continue single, double, skip, and then in this one we're going to do a single and a double. Oops. Skip the next chain and then the next one do a single and a double. Skip the next and do a single and a double. Skip the next and do a single and a double. The one that you are going into now, once you get past the chain, it should be a single crochet. You're always going to place your single and doubles, these two stitches together, you're always going to place them in the single crochets, so that should always line up. So now I skipped the next one and now I'm going to do my single and double all the way around this entire row. So this is my single on the side of my chain, so I'm going to place my stitches there. Everything is lining up nicely. Skip the next one and go, skip that one, go into the next one. Skip that one, go into the next one. Skip. Work. Skip. Work. And then in this last stitch, we're going to do our single, double in this last one, just like we have been the whole time. We are not placing an increase though. Right now, our job from here until we begin our body tapering, the whole point now is now that we've gotten the chest as deep as we need it to be, now we are not increasing anymore. We are just adding length to the body here before we start tapering for the underbelly, okay? So now instead of adding that extra single crochet to the end of your row, you're just doing your regular single double and that is it. So now I'm gonna join to the top of the first single crochet of this row and I'm going to continue doing this round um, right now for the size that I am making for the extra small, I need to go to round 20. So I'm going to continue working my way down until I hit round 20 and then we will continue with the body, body tapering next. Okay, this is the end of row uh, 20 for me for the extra small size that I'm making. So for the first row of the body tapering, I think this is where many people have been having issues with the pattern. Um, just go slow and take your time. So. First things first, I am on row 21 for my size. You could be on 31 or 45, depending on what size you are making. First thing we're going to do is chain one and turn. Now I'm going to look and see these first, or the last two stitches that I made of the previous row. It's this double crochet and this single crochet. I'm going to slip stitch in both of those. So if you are making the other size, you might be slip stitching in four or six stitches. I am just slip stitching in these first two right here. Now I'm going to skip the next stitch, which should be this double crochet. I'm skipping that and I'm going to single and double in this one here, the next one. Single and double. I'm going to do the skip, single, double, skip, single, double, skip for 18 more times. Follow the size that you're making. I am doing this 18 more times. One, two, seventeen, and eighteen. Now I'm going to skip this stitch here, skip the next stitch, and single crochet in the next. And that should leave, this is the end of this row. I know it looks funky, we'll clean it up at the end, trust me, this is correct. So we did our slip stitch in the first two stitches here, and we left the last two stitches of the row unworked. So we have four stitches total that are unworked underneath um, the belly area. 
We're not joining, we're not doing anything else. We end with that single crochet in that last stitch. I am going to tighten it up just a bit. Okay, now I'm ready to start row 22, which would, could also be 32 or 46, depending on what size you are making. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. And we're going to look at these last two stitches of the previous row. There's a single crochet and a double crochet. We are going to skip those two completely. In this next stitch here, I'm going to put a single crochet and a double crochet. Single and a double. And now I'm going to skip single and double and I'm going to do that 17 more times for this size. So I've already done the first one, so now I'm going to do it 17 more. So this is one, and two, this one is 17, and now I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch, this one right here. So I should have 37 stitches once I get around to this row. Now for the rest of the row, we're, for the rest of the pattern, we're going to do this next row and every row we're going to be decreasing by two stitches. So chain one, skip the first two stitches which is this single here and this double here and I'm going to do a single double in the next. And then now since I did it 17 times the last row, this row I'm going to do it 16 times and then the next row I'll do it 15 times etc. So I'm just going to continue around until I get to the other side. So there's the first one. So this is my first repeat. So this is one, two, and this is 16. We're gonna single crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm gonna chain one and turn. I'm going to skip the first two stitches single double in the next and since the last row I did that repeat 16 more times now I'm going to do it 15 more times and this is the first one right here so one see the gist we just decrease one of these single crochet double crochet bits every single row removing two stitches from our stitch count every single row and then once we get down to the body or the end of the body um, we will do a single crochet row or yeah a single crochet row just around this opening here to kind of clean up these edges so I'm going to continue decreasing until I reach row 37 for this extra small size or 47 or 67 if you are making a small or medium size. So I'm going to continue decreasing until I only have nine stitches left on the back of my body. And then we will work on the single crochet row together and we will be completely finished. Nine stitches, look at that beautiful. Okay, so now I am ready for my 37th row, which is my final row of the entire pattern. And we're going to take a look at this because it does look a little funky. It tapers on both sides. If you roll it sideways and kind of backwards, you can see how the decreasing here is staggered every row. So if yours looks a little bit funky, that's okay. It's supposed to. I mean, look at mine. It's not absolutely gorgeous yet. We are going to do a single crochet row just around the entire opening, and that will do wonders for how it looks at this moment. So now that I'm finished with the tapering of my body, I am going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to single crochet in every single one of these stitches and row ends around the entire opening. When you get to the part where you're actually going around the crazy edges, just place them as evenly as you can. I'm gonna always put mine here, and then I'm always going to put them here. That looks like a good place. And then here. So here here, 
and somewhere in the middle of this glob. And then here, and here, and somewhere in the middle of this. Here, here, and somewhere in the middle of that. But by staying pretty consistent with my placement, it will help the whole thing just to look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here and here and somewhere in the middle of this. And I'm going to go here and here and somewhere in there. This is the underarm portion. So these are the stitches that we missed or the slip stitches that we did to start the body tapering. I'm going to use those slip stitches to my advantage. All right, so now I've reached the other side of the wonkiness, so I need to decide where I'm going to place my stitches on this side. I think I'm going to basically do the same thing. Go into one, into the side of that one, and then in the middle of this. So into this one this one, and the middle of this. almost back to where we started already. Middle of that guy somewhere. And then and this one, and this one, and that one. I'll do here. And I think I'm gonna be done. So I've made my way. See how much cleaner that looks? It looks so much nicer now. It looks like a nice clean edge for your dog's body. <laughs> I'm going to clip my yarn back here and I'm going to do an invisible join, which is pull straight on through. If you need a complete tutorial for the invisible join, this is my favorite way to finish crochet projects. And another thing that I love about this is that these tiny little sweaters since this took only about a half a skein of this yarn, as long as I don't have any knots in my yarn, which I didn't in my skein, then this is the only end that I have to weave in, apart from my beginning tail over there. It's the only end I have to weave in, and I absolutely love that. So now I'm just weaving in my ends here. Looks good. All right, we have made a little tiny little dandy dog sweater. I hope you all enjoy this pattern. I hope that this video helps if you had any questions with the tapering of the body um, or any other questions as you went along. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.